WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is the 4 p.m. market update with Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. He will be back tomorrow. Um, before the show ended, I was speaking a little bit about Novo Nordisk. They got hit with an FDA, um, an FDA form 483 at one of their plants. Now, it's not down 50% today. I, I'm not sure what the discrepancy is here. Uh, it's up a little bit at the close at 1.27%. Let me get the fresher numbers, 1.31%. Um, so it's not hit heavily. Now, there's already a shortage uh, on their drugs. So it's unclear whether or not this uh, hit is going to impact them. Uh, what it was is they didn't have uh, any limits on microbial, or excuse me, they didn't have any microbial control limits, uh, which was it's just substantial, especially if you're making things like pharmaceuticals or that, you know, things people are going to ingest. Um, They've had to start producing some Ogovi as well, uh, where before they were kind of contracting that out. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, now, this is going to impact Ogovi and Ozempic. So that's what we have going on with Novo Nordisk, and it really didn't affect them too much. And again, this is kind of strange. I, I don't know what that 50% is. Um, some interesting news that's happening Now, this isn't a public company, but I still think it's kind of cool. This is coming out of Elon Musk as Neuralink is actually about to begin uh, testing on people with ALS and other disabilities. Now, the British have developed something as well. It's a chip that they put into people, and uh, it's people with tremors. Um, it completely stops it, right? It's actually a really fascinating um, kind of piece of technology, and uh, so Neuralink is about to be tested on people as well. They're putting a mesh over people's brains. Um, and this is going to be aimed at people with uh, cervical spinal cord injuries and uh, particularly ALS and probably other motor, um, you know, diseases that inhibit motor functions. Uh, so I think that is fascinating. Um, Amazon, now this isn't a big jump for them, but it's interesting to see. Let's take a look real quick. We have time down just a little bit. Well, their Alexa, if you want to put that in your home, is going to be a little bit more conversational with you now. So we're going to use an AI for the big things. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. Um, we have Tommy starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. And we have the standard programming throughout the rest of the day with the man, Tom O'Brien, at 3 p.m. Have a great rest of your day, folks.